it comes to understanding market structure and analyzing the market, professional traders put in place these five tips that I'm going to share with you today, and that's why they are able to get the best entries in the market, which results into more profits. Trust me, I have seen a lot of beginners losing money because they did not understand this important information. It always sounds simple, and that is why a lot of people tend to assume and continue to lose money. Whichever the broker you're using, whether they read, Quotex, or name them all, I have them all. You need to apply these tips to understand the market structure like a pro. Assuming you already have a strategy, tip number one, and remember to stay along because tip number five is the most important one. So, tip number one when analyzing and understanding market structure is master the flow of the trend. You need to master the direction of the market. And when it comes to trend, basically you have three types of trend. You have the uptrend, the downtrend, and the sideways uh, market. So for the uptrend, it means there are, there are a lot of buyers in the market than sellers. And for the downtrend, it means there are, there are a lot of sellers than buyers. And for the ranging of the sideways market, it means there is a balance between the both teams. As a beginner, I highly recommend you stick to the uptrend and the downtrend. The Saudi's market can be very complicated when starting to understand the market structure. I highly recommend you stick to the uptrend and the downtrend when analyzing the market so that you can understand the market faster. Tip number two, choose a time frame you are comfortable with. Someone might say, does that even have a lot of impact on me? Yes, listen, I know you have seen a mentor online making money in seconds. To flip the coin on, on the other side, he or she also loses in seconds. Remember, losses are part of the business. So it is good to choose a higher time frame because the higher time frames it, it will, will be able to develop the right, the, it, it will be easy to develop the mental skills needed in this game. We need to develop patience and the lower time frame it, it, is, it can be very complicated because you're just getting started don't even know how to identify the the key levels in the market and the market is moving faster because you're on a lower time frame so it is good to choose a higher time frame so that you can have a peace of mind while analyzing the market so in starting out choose the higher time frame so that you can be how so that you can have a peace of mind when analyzing the market so that you can even develop the mental skills faster okay because when you choose the lower time frames and you lose money in seconds, it will be very frustrating to you. It will be more frustrating. It will be more frustrating, trust me. So choose the higher time frames and with the time now you can now adjust to the lower time frames as you develop. As you see your progress on the higher time frame, now you can now adjust and if you want to use the lower time frames, okay? Tip number three, observe the past behavior of candlesticks. Yes, you have identified the trend. What about how the candlesticks are being displayed? For instance, in an uptrend, the market needs to be forming higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. And in a downtrend, it needs to be forming lower lows and lower highs. Lower lows and lower highs. Okay? And these levels can be easily be identified by drawing the support and resistance areas or zones. So it's good to choose a market that is forming the higher highs and higher lows. Higher highs and higher lows. And the candlesticks are being displayed uniformly. So choose a market that is forming a uniform pattern and that is easy to analyze, okay? Don't choose a market that has a lot of fix and makes you and makes it very complicated even to understand the trend, okay? So the, another thing that I can add on is that on, a, on an uptrend look for buying opportunities and on a downtrend look for selling opportunities. Don't go against the trend. You are just getting started in this business. We don't go against the trend. Tip number four, master the stage of the trend. Yes, it is a downtrend. Yes, it is forming clear patterns. But the question is, what is the stage of the trend? You see, you have three stages of the trend. We have the early stage, the middle stage, and the last stage, okay? Some people call it the early stage the start. A good example is, uh, let us give a, let us, let me give an example. Let's say the market was uh, ranging and it breaks this zone and start forming higher highs and higher lows. At that stage, at, at the, at that point, that is an, that's the early stage of the uptrend. At, that's the stage, that's the start of the uptrend. So, in most cases, the high quality uh, setups, the high quality, the high probability setups are generated in this stage. So, in the early stage is where the high quality setups are mostly generated because the market is moving faster, my friend. It, it is sweet, the market is moving swift. Okay, if you buy, it is respecting, it is respecting, yeah? it is respecting your analysis. If you sell, it is respecting your analysis and you can get sniper entries in this 
in, in, in such a market, okay? So, <laughs> on to the next stage is the middle stage, which is simply the the middle of the of the trend, okay? So, the, uh, I'll not talk about much about it, also on the middle stage, uh, you, you, you get a lot of high quality setups. So the last point, we have the last stage. So, the last stage, it's an exhaustion. We have a lot of exhaustion. Of the the market is exhausted. The market is moving like a toto is slowly, slowly, slowly. It is advisable to leave the market and stay away. It can, it can easily reverse on you anytime, and you lose your money. Tip number five: Put a lot of chart work. Practice day in, day out. Practice day in, day out. This is the best advice I can give you as a beginner. This is the best advice I can give you. Trust me. When starting out, you need to put a lot of, a lot of work. You need to back uh, your strategy. You need to look at your past mistakes and correct them. Okay? You need to seek consultation where I don't understand so that you cannot lose money. Some of you, your egos are holding you. You don't want to seek for help. That's why you continue to lose money. Okay? Remember, this is a high income skill. You need to be committed day in, day out. Time now you can see a lot of massive changes on the way you, you understand the market and the way you analyze the market. And now you can now start making money in the markets. Okay? Because you're having the right skills, because you have put a lot of work developing the skills. These are high income skills and needs a lot of time to develop. Give yourself time. Understand the level that you are in. Okay? After putting in a lot of work, perhaps you no longer be fearful but confident. You no longer lose money but make more money. After putting in a lot of work, you'll be able to get the best entries in the market. And with the best entries, trust me, that's where now you start making money, making money. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel. Let us meet next time. And remember, starting from today, to put in the tips that I have shared with you. Let us meet next time.